A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Hi friends. Thought I would do a little day in the life on a Sunday because I have makeup and my hair done. <laughs> which is a very rare occurrence. Last Sunday I did not care at all to do my hair. He's looking all dapper himself. Mm, Our kids are shirt. asleep. Lack of style, creativity. No, I like the tie. The tie's nice. It's What's what not uh, nice about what you're wearing? It's not unnice, it's just basic. It is basic. Um, he stopped like worrying about what shirt he was wearing and went with white so that the girls could always pick out his tie. When they were younger, it was when fun. younger. Yeah. So, and no, our kids aren't going. It's okay. We're at a phase in life where we just don't want to fight them on going to church or wake them up. Both. Chelsea's awake, but she just doesn't want to go. So, it's just the two of us going today on this, well, I'll show you. Gloriously, like, beautiful day. Oh wait, you can't see out the window because of the rain. So I feel like wearing all black today because it's just so miserable. I had this really cute new dress I got at Costco and it's so pretty. It's Kelly green. It's Kelly green, like Irish? Yeah, like it's just the color. And um, it's really cute and then I got a little white cardigan to wear over its short sleeve. But it's a little, you know, it, even when the sun is out, it's a little chilly still. But, and I've worn it once when it was Sunday for church, but it is kind of like mid-length, mid-calf. And it is just too cold today. It's 49. It's too cold to wear a mid-length dress with short sleeves, even with a white cardigan. Is Kaylee home? Yeah, she's home, but they're all in bed. Abby had to work this morning. She's already gone. Has she? Have you I seen didn't her? See her? You didn't? I thought she had to work today. Anyway, we're going to head to church and then uh, we'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, we just got home. Kaylee's got her first meal of the day. Yeah. It's noon, 12 30. But the chickens are just sitting there. <laughs> they never come to this window, so they must know you're here. Oh, they do. They only come to the window if they know I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. There's poop all over that know, patio. I you know that, right? Yeah, I'm waiting until it's not raining. Just, That's disgusting. Oh, it's a little tail wag. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're making lunch. I'm having tuna and pickles. <laughs> tuna sandwich. But I want to show you these grinders. We got at this restaurant yesterday. Is that when we went? This restaurant in Kirkland called Acropolis. And uh, Jason and I used to go there. We'd yeah. get yeah, we'd get that sandwich and we'd go down to the waterfront and have a little picnic. We haven't done that just, in a out, decade it's out or of more. The way. It's out of the way. Yeah, but I didn't because we just we get that sandwich and leave. We wouldn't like stay and eat at the restaurant. And so we didn't know that they had like a full Italian menu. So when we went last night with our friends, um, instead of game night, we just went to dinner. Um, I mean, as soon as I saw the menu, I was like, oh, I want like lasagna and spaghetti. And anyway, we settled and got, what did you have? The chicken carbonara? Is that what it's called? He has his headphones in. He's really tired. He wants his Sunday nap. Um, so we split the grinder and the pasta between the two of us. So um, it was a good night. Um, I just didn't film at all yesterday. Um, okay, let me show them your sweatshirt you got in Hawaii. You, everyone had packed theirs up. Has cute little uh, leaves on the side and then cute little pattern on the front. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Are you going to Jacob's or are you staying here? Staying here, but gotta deal with this meeting. Yeah, this one is very needy. Right at you. He's still sitting out the door. I bet if I pick him up and give him some cuddles, he'll be fine. Oh, you're all right. Yeah, he's fine now. Strange child. <laughs> you're gonna create human dependent chickens. 
Oh no, he's jealous. Yes, yeah, so he's sitting in my <laughs> Oh my gosh. Goodness sakes. Hey. Little Come toddlers. On. Come on. Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Jump. Oh. <laughs> jealous. <You> idiot. <laughs> Goodness. Y'all are a bunch of idiots. Stop it. Now put your other arm out. Here, buddy. You're smarter than she is. Come on. No. He's like, well, if you don't want me. Really? A little extra there, my friend. Here, a little extra. Did not need to oh, man. He's playing. He's just <laughs> playing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll come back. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know. Uh, do you really want me? I don't know. Don't eat that. That's garbage. Come on. You're not a goat. Well. You're kind of acting like it. What? You act like I threw you off. Alright. I am just getting home. I'm just going to document this. <laughs> I'm just getting home. I took Chelsea to her friend's house. I don't know for sure if it's a birthday party or if it's just a few of the friends just getting together to give her gifts. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but she lived like 25 minutes away, so it took a while to get there. And then I sat out front for five to ten minutes asking Chelsea, well I told her when she went in, I said, find out what time I need to come back and get you because it takes me 25 minutes to get here. So I need to make sure I leave home in plenty of time. And, and I said, just walk outside and tell me. She's like, I'll text you. No, just walk outside and tell me. Okay? She didn't. She didn't walk outside and tell me. And I'm wearing my dress still. I haven't, um, I got my hair done nice. It was raining at the time. It's not now, over here. Um, I didn't want to get out of the car. I'm like, dude, I'm right in front of the house. She can just walk outside and tell me. So then I start text texting her, like, what time should I come back? When are you coming? Anyway, she never responded. So then I started calling her and I realized from my car and from my phone that I, there's no reception. My messages aren't going through to her unless I sent it via a text message versus like a whatever. I don't know the difference between the two, but none of my messages are going through. I just do not want to get out of the car because it's pouring rain. So after 10 minutes of waiting for her to come out, she doesn't. So I just leave, but I'm in a different area that I wasn't sure of and I'm not getting any reception on my um, my car navigation or my phone navigation. I'm, I know where I'm at and I roughly know knew how to get back. I wanted to go a different way. I wanted to take the highway versus the back roads that I had took to get there. So I just kept having to like meander down the neighborhood trying to remember how I came up into it um, until I had enough reception to get directions to get back out to the highway. And the whole time I was doing that, I was trying to call Chelsea and none of the calls went through. They all went to voicemail. So then I drove 25 minutes home. <laughs> and I, so now it's been an hour. She's been at this party for one hour. When I asked her when I got there, when I dropped her off, I was like, well, how long do you think you're gonna be here? Two, three hours? And she's like, oh, no, like an hour. And I was like, an hour? I'm not going to go home if it's only an hour because that's 25 minutes home, 25 minutes back. I'm not going home if it's only an hour. Can you please find out? So I have been here. I'm, I just barely pulled in. It's 3 o'clock. <laughs> what do you want to bet? She calls me from the friend's phone in five minutes and says, hey, we're done. And Jason's taking a lovely Sunday nap. This is why I didn't change out of my dress because I didn't want to get super comfy clothes on when I was in the house because I knew I would want to lay down. But somehow with my dress on, I'm staying vertical. <laughs> I don't even want to go in there because I know I'm going to sit down. I don't have anything to do on the computer. And if I sit down, I'm going to be tired. And I'm right when I fall asleep or get really, really sleepy, she's going to call me and she's going to ask for a ride home. I don't I'm terribly worried. 
and I didn't refill my water so this is just lukewarm water dregs there's not very much in here but I will show you my cute little Aloha sticker that I got in Hawaii and I just have to say those of you who private message me when you go to Hawaii or what you tell me when you're gonna go or where you're there right now it's driving me insane one of you is in Maui right now just for privacy reasons I won't say who it is but uh you're sending me photos and anyway things at stores oh and I found out from her that the Coco Nene store reopened in the Cannery Mall in Maui it used to be right on Front Street in Lahaina um obviously it burned down and she said that they just reopened in the Cannery Mall, which is super fun, because I thought they were gonna open up down in um, Wailea or in Kihei. So um, it's kind of nice that it's up there. But now I wanna go to Maui, like terribly bad. <laughs> like really bad. I wanna get into warm ocean water, because I still currently have, well you can see out my roof. That gray is not the roof, that is the sky. Um, all right, well. Lisa go in and get more water and go to the bathroom and then see if she calls me ready to come home again. And Jason's gonna wake up in like an hour and be like, oh, did you get a good nap? How you doing today? <laughs> no, I didn't get a good nap. I remember looking at the clock last night. I went to sleep at midnight and then I saw the time at 3 a.m. Wanted to take melatonin, but it's gone from my room. Someone took it. Um, I saw the time at 4.30, again at 6.30, probably went to the bathroom at 6.45, got back in bed knowing my alarm was going to go off at 8.12, but I wake up at 7.50, or I see the time at 7.50, knowing I only have 20 minutes. <sighs> so I'm really tired. I'm really tired. And I want to lay on that couch, but I know if I don't, she's not going to call me for two hours. If I do, she's gonna call me in 10 minutes. All right, never actually got a hold of Chelsea until I was 10 minutes away from their house. I let her stay there for like three and a half hours, and by the time I got there, it was four hours. She probably, well, she said she texted me right after she went in the house, but the de message didn't actually go through until we were pulling into our garage. <laughs> um, and then she got all of my messages as soon as we got home. So she just wasn't getting any of her messages um, or phone calls. So she had a fun time at her party and then um, came home. We dropped something off at her friend's house and we just had dinner all together. It was quite nice, um, but we are missing Abby. So I'll just show you what we had. This is her dinner plate. Well, there's not, not any corn. We have lasagna leftover bread from yesterday and corn but we also had salad she's probably gonna eat this as leftovers too otherwise you can take it for well you don't go to work tomorrow but um so she has well, she can make a salad we have caesar salad as well um so anyway it's quite a nice meal that goes what up there love? i guess we could she's not gonna eat not gonna make more corn so just put that away so I am surprised that I'm still going today without a nap but now I really terrified of like actually laying down on the couch at 7 30 at night because I think I'm gonna <laughs> fall asleep and then I'll never go to sleep tonight so kind of worried about that but it is kind of blustery outside and like really windy Jason and I were just, I don't know why it's doing that weird remote thing on the screen. Jason and I just watched the first two episodes of Clarkson's Farm. Well, season three. 
we just don't have the light on. That's my my camera <laughs> flashlight. But actually, you want to show them something before we close out for the night? I'm not really happy with it. It's cute though. It's good, but the writing is a little bad, and I need to fix. I need to get a little different gems. Okay, so this is your little uh, what is uh, it? Tree Hut Coco Colada Sugar Scrub. Your scrub that you got for your birthday? No Easter. Oh Easter, you're right. And she put um, these are diamond painting gems. gems that are left over from other kids. And they actually stay on there really well. And yeah, she stuck them on here, and then and she followed the same outline design of the actual bottle. Looks really cool. The other one I freestyled. I'm not done with it yet. It's a touch lamp. Yeah. But I have a dazzle at the back. Oh, cute. I'm not done with the yellow yet because I ran out of pink. Then I ran out of blue. Oh, that's okay. It's kind of a cool little thing. Because then you see it from the front. Really yeah. Cool. That's cool. And that's um, so I'm just sitting here making a to-do list with this little thing tomorrow. I like this little daily list that Jason and I can have when Did we're... Did you get this from Japan? No, those are the ones I bought on... TikTok shop before we left. I got this notebook too. When Jason and I go running errands and stuff, it's nice to just have an actual list. That you always forget. No, because I didn't have anything yesterday, but I just like that I it has a plastic cover on it so that I can take I can't the list read with me. That. It's fine if you can't read it. I'm gonna go back there. There are girl cheese. Okay. Anyway, um no. <sighs> I think Jason just went to the post office to mail some packages that needed to go out in the first run tomorrow morning. Yeah. And um, I'm going to just watch one more episode of a show. And then I'm going to bed, so I'm going to sign off with you guys. Thank you for joining us for a little Sunday. Um, yeah. I am surprised that I'm still awake. Uh, I did not get a Sunday nap. This is the first Sunday in I don't even know how long that I haven't taken a Sunday nap. So Why I'm surprised that I'm still awake. Relief? Let me see. What is that? Is that like a nose spray? Yeah. Guess yeah. That? Yeah. It goes up your nose. Yeah. Um, so it's 10 o'clock. It's time to dash. It's not even 10. Could I be in bed by 10 tonight? I the could. The real thing I... is, can I? Because I no. have tested it. You have testing, state I testing, have, all week. No, all month. I know. I well, have seven tests. All right, I'm going to hurry and finish watching this episode, and then I'm going to try and get, get in bed before 10 a.m. <coughs> 10 p.m. 10 a.m. All right, you guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. Um, as much as it was annoying to have to drive Chelsea clear over to her friend's house, it, it was actually a nice drive. It was nice to be out and about. Kind of went the back way to get there through the little horse uh, arena pasture area. <laughs> oh, my teacher was there today. And then your teacher was where today? At the horse like thing. Well, no, I just went in the back roads out she into the country the and then coming home I took the highway. I was like, <laughs> I need to have speed to go home. Literally, it's the same amount of time, but I just needed to feel the speed that I was actually going home faster. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm going to say goodnight. I need to finish watching this, so you need to leave, Ash, and go to bed. Go brush your teeth. Um, but good night. We're going to keep dragging this out. But take care.